Picture this, a recording studio somewhere far, far away. Welcome to the Fantasy Zone. Get ready. Welcome, Watchers of Illusion, to my Castle of Confusion. It's the 1st of September 2020. Now, if you'd seen my post a couple of days ago, it would have said that I was not doing any more reviews this week because I'm moving house on Thursday. Yes, that's right, this coming Thursday. Um, but I thought, well, I've got a little bit of time between cleaning out the office and everything else, so I thought I would bring you this little gem. Yes, and it is a recent game. So to speak, it's a recent game. Um, it's Tiny Bobble by Abyss. And I tell you what, guys, they've absolutely nailed this. I am so, so impressed with this. Now, you'll know, you'll know that the Amiga already has a version of Bubble Bobble. You will know that. But what you won't know is that this version of Bubble Bobble is practically arcade bloody perfect. Look at it with your eyes. Check it out. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. And you've got to go and download this for your Amiga. Because it will play on a standard A500, which is absolutely mental. It's, it's absolutely fantastic. Gone are the horrible sound effects from the original game, which I haven't reviewed yet, which I must do, because I have to at some point. But that's beside the point. Anyway, look at it, look at it, look at it. They've actually got the sprites correct. It's two player simultaneously. You know what? This is a golden score. Fla hands bloody down. It's a golden score. Um, yeah, so uh, you're going to have to bear with me for a, a week or so because uh, I'm not sure when the internet's getting reconnected at the new place. Hopefully not too long. I'm um, hoping by Monday it should all be sorted out. But you know what? No guarantees. But yes, uh, once I'm in the new uh, studio, I shall be hopefully producing a lot more content for you guys. And uh, Patreons, I haven't forgotten about you either. Uh, there will be more content coming your way as well. So, I will have a lot more time on my hands and a quieter environment. That's right, no children. Hooray! Uh, no, I'm you guys. I love my kids to bits, but it's nice to have that peaceful time to be able to get on with some work. And I do deem this my sort of job so to speak, because I love it so much. So I hope you're all doing well, and uh, have you been... I know this, is, this is so unrelated to retro, but have you been using the Eat Out to Help Out scheme? Because we have, and now we're fat. Yay! Anyway, I digress. Tiny Bobble, let's get back to this. So let's have a look at it graphically. I mean, it's absolutely beautiful it's lovely the way they've done it the colors are, are really nice and vibrant and the characters and the animations are all spot on arcade perfect they've even managed to squeeze stuff in this version that they couldn't squeeze into the uh, original which is it's, it's mind-blowing the thing that i find the most interesting about these re-releases or these uh, these these fan remakes is that the machines but how how are they getting them to do this i mean Maybe it's just that we, you know, developers didn't know how to unlock the potential of the machines back in the day. But if you'd have bought this home, you'd have been absolutely gobsmacked. Because that's exactly how I felt playing this. Because <sighs> this isn't my first playthrough, by the way, just so you know. But, I mean, it's it's magnificent. And there, look, there's the warps. I've got the umbrella, so we're going to warp through a few levels. Um... It's, 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 it's absolutely magical. Now, if you could compare it to the original uh, Amiga release, you'd know that there was a lot of differences. Um, mainly being the characters look much, much more uh, arcade-like. The mobs look more arcade-like. The horrible sound effects, because I've never really liked the uh, Amiga sound effects for Bubble Bubble. Uh, there were some horrible sort of jump noises and bubble blowing noises, which, which really took away from the immersion of the game. But this is completely different. It's and the theme tune is absolutely gorgeous. I, sorry guys, I, I cannot praise this enough. And you know what? I've, I have not been paid for this review. So um, yeah, 
but I've always liked Bubble Bobble pretty much on every system I've played it on. Uh, I had I started out with the ZX Spectrum version of the game, uh, and that was pretty well done as well. You can see at the top of the screen there's some bubble gum that will increase my range, I do believe. Um, uh, there's uh, speed bubbles as well, um, and there's another one. There's a pink, uh, I think there's a pink one, a purple one, a yellow one. Was there a green one? I can't remember. There's one that speeds up the bubbles. There's one that it puts it, there you go, right across the, the other end of the screen. Uh, I can't remember what the other one does. So, in the comments, guys, you know what to do. You remember what the other bubble um, bubble gum does? Let me know. Um, so, so simple with the controls as well. It's basically left, right, jump and blow bubbles. Now, it's up on the joystick to jump and fire button to blow those special bubbles of yours. Um... But it's, it's, a, it's an absolute joy to play. And if you're looking for something quick and easy just to pass the time, then this is your gremlin. Um, I'm absolute... I, I'm, I mean, I like arcade conversions when they're done properly. This is stunning. Absolutely stunning. So I'm very impressed to be bringing... Impressed? I'm very honoured to be bringing this to you the viewer and uh, I hope you're enjoying it so far it is just absolutely fantastic and if you are a bubble bubble fan like I am then uh, you will absolutely lap this up now the version I'm playing at the moment is beta it has gone into full release now but it's still free to download so I will include the download link in the description below please pop along and show your support because it's it's worth it let the author know because he's absolutely nailed this and if uh, if he does anything else I'm going to be looking out for work by this particular um, developer. So well done to you, sir. Anyway, it's let's have a look. Playability, yes, yes. It's a good playability. It's just literally like playing the arcade, and the arcade was pretty damn tight, to be fair. Um, but it's it seems smoother than the original Bubble Bubble, which is a nice nice touch. Um, but you'll find yourself coming back to this again and again. I pretty much guarantee you that. It's very cool. And if you've got a couple of joysticks, you're going to be plugging those in and playing with your friends. Because why not? It's two-player simultaneous. You don't even have to... That's a no-brainer, folks. It's going to get a high score for that. Because you know my thoughts on multiplayer games. And it's... Uh, obviously, you're on screen at the same time. Oh, there's a bubblegum down there. Am I going to get to it before it vanishes? Uh, no. Let's, let's just fall off the other side, shall we? That's gone. Okay. Now you do have all the features of the arcade here, the uh, the ability to, to spell out the word extra. I do believe you have a boss uh, after every is it every 10 levels or every 20 levels, something like that. Um, and, all, and you've got all the all the gubbins that goes with it. So really, really nice. Very impressed. I mean, I was impressed they bought this game to the Spectrum, to be honest with you. And there was so much content in that that it was just a joy to play. Now this is kind of along the same uh, margins. If you're an arcade fanatic, you'll love this even though it's not the arcade version and I defy anybody to say that it's not even close to the arcade because I will I will come round and and I will stuff corn on the cob in your ear or something replay factor is absolutely you are going to come back to this again and again probably more so with friends um, there you go look that wasn't I don't think that was in the original Amiga version was it let me know because like I said I haven't actually I haven't played the Amiga version for, for years and I'm talking about when I was like six or seven that's quite a long time ago. Yeah, I'm only 44, but still, seven? Yeah, quite a long time ago. Um, absolutely fantastic stuff. Uh, if, if I'm being over-enthusiastic, guys, I do apologise, but, you know, it's... it's. Uh, I wanted to get a review out to you before I sort of hang up for the, uh, for the weekend because I'm going to be busy traipsing things backwards and forwards to my new apartment and stuff like that. So um, I just thought I'd take this moment of quiet to just show you this absolute joy. Um, and I really hope you go out and download it. Because it works on emulators too. Hey! So it works on actual hardware and it works on emulators. And Win UAE is probably the one that you'll want to go for. Oh, look at this. Um, oh, it's so cutesy. Brilliant. I'm not sure. Did they, I'm not, I know they bought Rainbow Islands and Parasol Stars, but I don't think they bought any of the Bubble Symphony games out, did they, on the uh, home computers? Or was that. I know they had them on the arcade. But I'm really not sure they had them for home release. Let me know. I mean, I could look it up, but, you know, I'm not going to be here for a few days. Uh, let me know in the comments, did they release Bubble Memories and Bubble Symphony to the home systems? It could be home computers. It could be home consoles. It's, you know, let me know. Were any of them ported? I'd love to hear from you. 
Um, I always interact with you guys as well, which is always nice. And uh, new subscribers, by the way, welcome to the channel. Great to have you along. Um, yes, and existing subscribers, well, you know, you guys are awesome. You know you're awesome. Yes, you do. <laughs> don't you? Don't you blush? You know. Anyway, age range. You know what? Any. You know, I think a newborn could pick this up and play it. They wouldn't know what the bloody hell they're doing. But you know what I mean? It's it's a young person's game, but it gets tricky later on, which will give everybody of any age range something to do in Bubble Bubble. So yeah, give it a try. And if you've never played Bubble Bubble, where have you been living? In a cave? Come on, guys, get with the program. There are so many cool games to play, um, especially re not remakes as such now. There's new content coming out, and I'm going to be exploring a lot more of the indie games coming up in the uh, next couple of weeks once my internet's sorted and I can get back online and upload to you wonderful folks watching this. I hope you guys are uh, keeping safe and all that jazz. I know it feels like things are kind of normal, but it's not really, is it? But hopefully this channel makes you smile at least once because that is better than the alternative. So if this does make you happy, then thank you very much. I've done my job. So there we are. Um, it's obviously it's a single, single screen scroll 'em up, blow 'em blow bubble up. I don't quite. Un, um, is it a shoot 'em up? Would you class this as a shoot 'em up, or a bubble up? I don't. I don't really know. I mean, it's like Rodland. How would you classify that? Anyway, two player simultaneous. You're gonna lap this up, guys, and you know you could always, if you've got four of you, just change the controller to another person. If you happen to lose one of your precious lives, which you can see in the bottom left-hand corner. Uh, to, oh, sorry, I completely missed the heads-up display. Uh, top left-hand corner, you can see your score with the lovely one-up in green. High score in the middle, and then push two player will turn blue when you introduce a secondary player, which you would plug in the old mouse port. So there you are. Excellent, excellent, and there's no slowdown. It's absolutely on par. It's so. I mean, if I if I hadn't told you this was an Amiga game, would you have thought I was playing the arcade? That's an interesting question. Have you have you looked at this and thought, hmm, is this the arcade or is it a remake of the arcade? I don't know. I think it was the. Uh, I would think it was the original, but that's me. But uh, yeah, well, it's. It's coming to that time where I'm going to be wishing you all a uh, a very good weekend because obviously I'm going to be gone from Thursday. Thursday morning I get the keys to my flat and um, it's it's sort of exciting, it's scary at the same time but um, I'll have more time to spend with you lovely folks. So there we are, yes. Um, but thanks for supporting the channel, really appreciate it. Um, life has been very up and down over the last few months so thanks for sticking with me and uh, subscribing to my channel I never thought I'd get this many subscribers when I first started this I could do with a few more so if anybody fancies clicking that share button um, and the subscribe button if you have just come across my channel hello to you I uh, hope you've enjoyed it enough to subscribe and uh, I will see you next time I'm gonna leave this to play for a little bit longer I'll give you another few minutes to uh, lap up the bubble bobble experience and uh, I will catch you next time so don't panic if I'm not around for a little while. I, I actually wasn't going to do this review until I got back, but uh, this I, I couldn't leave you hanging for that long. All right then, guys. Well, you take it easy. The next time I speak to you, I shall be in a Retro Revival Show headquarters number two, and uh, I shall be producing new content on a much, much more regular basis as I will have a lot more time to be able to do it so thank you very much for your time thank you for tuning in always appreciated and um, I will see you guys again very very soon as usual you keep it retro and bye for now